Hey guys, Kyle Morris here coming from the Golf Room in Dublin, Ohio. And what I wanted to do today was talk to you guys a little bit about pitching and chipping of the golf ball. So the first thing that I want to tell you that took me 25 years to figure out is that chipping and pitching is completely opposite from full swing. And that's really, really important. So with the full swing, we're trying to create as much power, as much speed as we possibly can. And essentially, we're trying to hit the ball with the sh shaft being forward and trying to de-lock the face and sharpen the leading edge. With chipping and pitching, what we're trying to do is we're trying to do the exact opposite. We're trying to be weak and really not powerful on purpose. So what we're trying to do with chipping and pitching is we're trying to utilize the bounce of the club. This back part of the club is called the bounce. So with full shots and iron shots, we're trying to sharpen the leading edge and minimize the bounce. And with short game shots, we're trying to hit the club on this back edge back here and try to utilize the bounce. So how do we do that? Well, the first misconception in chipping is the fact that you should put the ball back, lean your, hand, your hands forward, and try to just move back and forth. The problem with that is, as you can see, that that really sharpens the leading edge. It also promotes most amateurs to come to the inside and for their face to be closed. And if the face is closed, it has more propensity to dig. Therefore, if you don't hit the ball perfectly, you can hit lots of sh shots really thin, and you can hit lots of shots really, really short and kind of chilly dip them and almost double hit them. So what we want to do is we want to teach you how to utilize the bounce. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to show you the difference between the two. So this is like the normal old school thought of hitting a chip where my ball is back, the, forward, the handle of the club is leaning forward, I take it back, and I hit it. And what you're going to see is that creates a spin rate of 23,000. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to execute a shot that, that maximizes the bounce of the club. So here's what I want you to do when you set up. So you're going to set up and you're going to feel like your heels are pretty close together, like you know a couple inches apart. Then you're going to flare your, your lead foot 45 degrees and you're going to turn the laser of your chest a few inches in front of the ball and then bend over. And I'm going to feel like all my weight is on the on my left or my lead foot, my left heel. So what we're gonna do from that, from that spot, so I turn my chest, I get the bottom of the arc pointing in front. Now I'm gonna feel like I'm gonna feel a little bit above the plane and open, rather than below the plane and close. So I'm gonna feel like I take it a little bit open, and the, the big difference here is when I come down, the kinetic sequence is gonna feel like I take the club head and I let go of the angle, and then everything follows. So with full swing, the kinetic sequence goes lower body, chest, club head. With chipping and pitching, it goes club head, chest, lower body. So it's literally the opposite. So what we're gonna do is the exaggerated feeling is it goes back, and then the club head feels like it's like this, like I'm gonna kinda of cut my wrist. So it's back and down. So I really did that with the bounce and then you can see how much higher that flew. So, um, now if you want to go out to the course and you want to practice that, how can you do that? So what you're going to do is you're going to take some of these alignment rods that you can get at Home Depot or whatever, and you're going to set it up and you're going to stick it into the ground and it's going to be right at the same angle as the shaft. So that's at about a 45 degree angle. And you're going to get in your perfect setup and you're going to take the club back and not try not to hit this stick. So that's gonna make you err on getting open and having to feel like you kind of cut this left wrist, which is gonna open the face. And then you feel like you swing left. So you would just hit lots of shots, kind of like that, where you feel like you're kind of just bruising the ground, right? Um, and one thought that you could stick with when you're playing is essentially the big difference that I feel when I do this is two things. First, you're gonna feel like your left side is really, really soft. So you're going to feel like this left elbow and this left wrist is really, really soft. Rather than really flex, which is going to dig the, the leading edge and sharpen it, you're going to feel like it's really soft. So it's actually a really good idea to try to hit shots with your, just your left hand and see how high you can hit them. Because if you go like this, 
you know, that's not going to go very high. But if you get rid of the bounce or get rid of the angle and do it, then, then you can get it pretty high. The second thing is, is now, because you're utilizing the bounce, the ground becomes your friend. So the only way you're going to really get in trouble with this is if you go this way and then you fall backwards. Because what will happen is you'll do that and then you'll blade it across the green. But now that we're utilizing the bounce, you can really be like aggressive with the ground because there's no way that, that club can dig. And if it does hit behind the ball, because you're using the bounce, the ball, the club will bounce off the turf and then into the ball, but it'll catch it on the bottom groove, which will make it fly a little further, but it'll have more spin. Therefore, it'll kind of offset each other. So um, that will be your little short game tip of the day. If you have any questions, email us at kmorris at thegolfroom.com. You can also book a uh, lesson on our website, www.thegolfroom.com, and hopefully this leads to more up and downs for you on the course. Thanks. So here's Seve Ballesteros taking it above the plane, bringing it down over the hands, exiting low and left and getting rid of the angle. That's for a little flop shot. Same thing for a chip shot. He's going to take it above the plane, faces a little open, feels like he's swinging low and left, getting rid of the angle and exiting low and left.